to um, introduce to you Scott Benzel as our new head football coach. Um, Scott has an understanding and an appreciation of the athletic and academic traditions uh, at Westminster, and he is certainly highly regarded by football people in this region. Uh, he has a commitment to developing the men on his team both on and off the field, and I am certain he will bring to our football program new enthusiasm and energy, a positive attitude, and a passion for competition. I introduce to you Scott Benzel. Well, I appreciate everybody being here today. It's, uh, it's an honor. I'm very humbled, an honor to be part of the rich tradition and history of Westminster football. Um, I was made immediately aware of what a special place Westminster is by visiting and spending some time with current and former uh, Titans during this interview process. Um, it's my sincere intention to give the school something they can be proud of um, with our football team both on and off the field. Uh, next, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to the following people. President Dorman, who um, um, Jim had expressed is going through some tough times. You know, our thoughts and prayers, certainly with him. Uh, our athletic director, Jim Daffler, who um, through this whole process has been very thorough with me and answering questions I've had. I really look forward to working with you, Jim, and, and building the program and the vision I think we both have equally and get uh, Titan football to where it, it needs to be. Um, <clears throat> members of the search committee, uh, Katie DeMetal, Dar Huey, Dave Gooch, Tammy Swearingen, uh, Bill Hazen, Brad Tokar. It's, again, been an honor to get to know you as people. I look forward to working with you. Um, I definitely was impressed by the questions and the, um, the sincere uh, appreciation for, for this position. And I think it was expressed over and over again in the interview. Um, it, it, it also, I'd like to thank my wife, Cindy, who, you know, without her, I wouldn't be where I am right now and express how much she means to me. Um, those of you that <clears throat> have football wives understand the hours and time. So for that, I thank you and I love you. My daughter, Bailey, who we're all looking forward to being a big sister here shortly, so she's going to be awesome. Um, so I've been fortunate to be around a lot of great players and a lot of great coaches. And I've played for a lot of great people over the years. Uh, coach Romito, my high school coach. Joe Kimball, my college coach. My mentor, my friend, and the guy that I learned everything I know about defense was Dan Radakovich. And I'm hoping we all get to meet Coach Rad in the future. Um, Joe Walton, the head coach at, former head coach at uh, Robert Morris University. Coach Walton, sincerely thank him. Very organized man, very thoughtful person. And he's been a, a, a great friend. <clears throat> John Banizak, who I also worked with and who is now the current uh, head coach at Robert Morris. Coach Ban, he's a, as a is a great friend in Iraq. Uh, Coach Fincham at Wittenberg, who's somebody I still call and I still rely on um, a lot for everything that he's done for me and that program that he's built uh, at Wittenberg. And then Coach Valerio at St. Francis. Without Coach Valerio taking me on and, and, and allowing me to be the associate head coach and really allowing me to have an impact at the program and, and He's sincerely happy for me, so that's, that's very important to me. Um, <clears throat> finally, I'd like to thank some friends and mentors of mine, Matt Rach and Mike Miller. Um, Matt was a former Titan here, a Hall of Fame member, and he's um, really instrumental in getting me the opportunity to even be here today to talk to you. And then finally, <clears throat> which I have a couple of my former players that are that are here now. Um, you know, they sincerely have impacted my life more than they could ever imagine. I've learned a great deal from them, so thank you. Guys, it's 
It's without you, I wouldn't be here. So thanks. Um, I don't know why I always get kind of goofy with this stuff. <laughs> My wife will tell you at our wedding, it was, uh, you wouldn't be concerned about her crying. <laughs> it was me that was the one crying. And it's always just a, these sort of formats. So I, most of the time, I'm, I'm okay. But so. Anyway, we'll, we'll get rolling. I truly believe the football program is about the former, current, and future players here at Westminster. It's our job as coaches to um, help them reach their potential as young men. We had a saying at Robert Moore some years back that Coach Walton used to teach us, it's not what you are at 18 that matters, but it's what you become when you graduate. And I, and I really believe that in my heart of hearts. Um, in closing, to the Westminster players, that were gathered here today that I got a chance to talk with. I'm very anxious to work with, with all of them uh, in the next few months, and I'm truly honored and excited to lead them onto the field in the fall. So, Coach, one of the hardest things to do in a small school like this is recruit, because you can't pass out money like the other schools do. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to cover that challenge? Well, I think you just, you know, you sell the tradition, the people, the environment, um, we've got a lot to offer at Westminster. I certainly think I'm very excited about getting in front of those young men and, and expressing why it's this place to be and, and, and why we're going to be successful and the vision we have with the program. So um, I definitely await and welcome that challenge. What's the first thing you're going to do next week, next Monday? Um, I plan on, first and foremost, we try to have a schedule for next week with recruiting. It's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say we're a little behind because I think the current staff has done a great job of making sure that they're out and about. I've seen them out and about, so that says a lot for those, those guys. Um, when we were in high schools together, I've seen them everywhere, so that speaks uh, very favorably to their character and their commitment to the school. Uh, I would say, you know, we just get in and get recruiting, get on the phone, start calling guys, and um, definitely meet with the team and try to get a, a plan on what we're doing to move forward. Mm -hmm. how, much, uh, how much football advice does Cindy give you? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, great. <laughs> she's uh, she's very knowledgeable. She's been around it a long time. She's actually watches more football than I do. Uh, when I finish with coaching, I, I really don't watch as much as she. She's on that. She watches every single game, and uh, you could you could tell her uh, a lot. She knows she knows what's going on. So it's a good question, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. I, I have a question, Coach, for you, but maybe for the, any eligibility with those two guys <laughs> over there that you might be able to find? I wish. Jake, uh, two Jakes. It's funny because my wife starts saying, tell me which Jake you're talking about. Uh, they're very similar as far as their passion for football. Uh, and, you know, um, I coach both of them, which is kind of really – a neat thing. What's your goal for the first year of Peyton's? <clears throat> Honestly, I want to have a winning season. Um, I really feel like if that's not what our team goal is and team vision, I think we're misleading our kids. I think we want to have a winning season, and I, and I know it'll be tough, and I know there's challenges. I know we lost a great deal of seniors. So, you know, there's going to be some challenges there, but I think we can do it. I really do. I think they have enough players that, that, that can compete. It's a tough league, and it's a league that we have to get familiar with, and there's going to be a learning curve. And, you know, there's going to be some uh, system changes as far as what we do offensively and defensively. All that being said, in the end, it's, it's execution on the field. So um, my first thing that I will talk to and discuss with the team is the our expectations are to be a winning program. And, and, and anything that diverts from that um, is not going to be accepted. Westminster has a history of really strong academics for its athletes. Mm -hmm. What's your 
philosophy about student athletes and their academic work? I was fortunate to work at some pretty strong academic schools uh, in the past. I think you would find over the cross-section of most student athletes, they're probably outperforming the general student body a as a whole anyway. So um, most athletes are very driven, very motivated, and they're very uh, grade conscious. So uh, I, I think, you know, to embrace academics, it does go hand in hand. I, I certainly want to see our players excel in the classroom. I, I honestly feel that a place here with such strong academics is a selling point. It's something that I think the players that are here already understand that and understand what it takes to be successful academically. And if they're struggling, we are going to try to put things in place to, to make sure that they, they have success. So um, I definitely welcome that and look forward to that.